Ooh. Welcome back to another episode of Hector's Point of View. Um, today's topic, uh, it's not really controversial, but it is uh, something I do want to touch on. Uh, it's should you go to college? Um, you know, I think that's a that's a case by case basis whether you should go or not. Um, obviously, we've seen. Uh, that a lot of people haven't gone and have been successful in their field but again just like how Gary V says it and I can just piggyback off what uh how or what he says about college is basically for, it is for some people and it isn't for others you know it depends on what industry or what market you're trying to go into uh for me being a personal trainer did I do I think it was important for me to call me to go to college one just as a person I thought I needed to go to college. I mean, I did, I graduated. I went to uh, Southern Illinois University uh, and graduated from there. Um, but could I have done without it? For sure, because as you see, a lot of people in fitness that's never gone to school are very successful in it and built a very good business off it. Um, but it depends on what type of fitness they do. You know, um, if you wanna do strength and conditioning at colleges and at the pro level, you have to have a degree, you know, and that's just that. Most people who are uh, have a great business or have a great business off fitness mostly do it on social media and just train uh, the everyday average person. You know, it's different when you touch an athlete's worth 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 million dollars. You can't, they're not going to just train with anybody who's just um, a... Um, a fake fitness guru on... Um, Instagram you can call it I mean it's different when it comes to sports you really don't need to go to college when it comes to uh, training a sport specific just like for basketball you know football again if they played those sports and they're very knowledgeable and they can help fine but when it comes to strength and conditioning you know shit is just a little different um, you know people need that knowledge they need to know the biomechanics they need to know the exercise physiology they need to know everything on everything especially when you're dealing with high uh, level clients and again nobody just wants to go to anybody who doesn't know they shit so again i think it was good for me could i have done without it and still read the books of course you can do that with any um any profession except i think in the medical industry of course you need to go to school to be a doctor you know those those professions like that that you need to go to school basically call it stem uh science technology um is it engineering and math yeah, so I think it's those four that you actually need a degree for. Everything else, like when people go to um, people go to college for business or marketing, uh, do I think it's necessary? I don't, I mean, this is my personal opinion. I don't think so. Again, I think you can learn about business outside of going to school. You know, again, I think, of course, which everybody knows, they groom you to work for somebody most of the time when you're going to college. But I mean, you can use that information and still open up your own business. Like you can honestly start a business in college while learning business and so you can be an entrepreneur and still learn but then again at the end of the day you can still be um, working for somebody else when you get outside of college you know it's okay to have a nine to five and be an entrepreneur people feel like you have to do one or the other and that's not the case you know me being a trainer um, I have to be in person to uh, with my client you know us being in corona and shit is like people want to do virtual it's not the same thing you know people just if the people had a choice, they would always pick in person over online, for sure, hands down. It's just when we're in this time, people have no other choice but to be uh, virtual. Uh, with me coming out with my app, it doesn't mean I'm going to stop training. It's just to mean that I'm going to be able to access and help a lot of other people who aren't just in Chicago or who all just can't reach me. And of course, I want to be able to have a different source of um, income. Of course, but then I want to do it off my knowledge, off my network, off everybody that I know, everything that I want to offer to the regular person, whether they need it or not, you know. Um, yeah, so that's just my opinion. But, you know, um, I went to college. I had fun. You know, I think it's a great experience. You know, socially, you need to to get out there and network. Again, it helped me with my business because now a lot of people who I went to college with or went to school with, you know, come back and train with me. So, of course, it was good for my business. Um, but could you be successful without it? For sure. You know, it just again, it depends on um, what your industry is. You know, same thing with cosmetics or hair. You, you, I mean, you can go to hair school for sure. But there's again, as we know, there's a lot of um, people who aren't licensed or just don't have the the paperwork or the certification, and they're very successful. You know, um, do I look down on people in my industry that don't have certifications? Yes, because. Um, 
to me, that's just, that's just step one to get in the door. It's very easy to get a NASM, ACE, uh, whatever, ISSA certification. That's the bottom at the bottom. And you don't even gotta go to school for that. That shit is at your own pace. You can learn it when you want to. But again, you need some foundation. You can't really help me if you don't understand what you're doing. Again, you can build a body for you, but when you go into that personal training space, you need to have the knowledge for your clients. It's not just for you. Everybody doesn't train just like you. Not everybody doesn't do the extreme shit. You gotta understand what works and what doesn't for some people. But then again, you need to be able to educate your clients on why you guys are doing what you're doing instead of just telling them do this, do this, do this. No, educate at the same time. You know, your clients are gonna be, what, what separates you when a client comes to you rather than somebody else? And again, it's a knowledge that you teach them. Again, I've had a lady who, um, I guess she's been working out for 20 years and never knew how to squat or squat without her knees hurting. So again, out of 20 years, you've ran into so many people that haven't taught you how to squat and I had to teach you the correct way. And again, now with one without pain, two, or just a more uh, depth in your squat, you know, again, it just shows, the, it goes to show you a lot of people don't really take the knowledge of it seriously. And, so, and business-wise, people don't care. Like, people don't care how knowledgeable I am. All people care about is the results I can bring them. But again, I'm very knowledgeable, which helps me bring a lot of results. But you know, in fitness these days, it's all about just before is an after, before is an after. We don't really take in the health um, complications of people or their health status. We're just looking at, again, fitness is just basically how you look. That's it, that's all. It's not really about health. Um, it's different where now, okay, how's your mobility? Okay, how are your knees holding up? Again, how are your joints feeling? You know, so it's just simple things like that. And again, when it comes to athlete, you need to know which workouts are the best and why you're doing certain workouts again for explosiveness, for speed, for agility, you know, there's different things that you do. Again, everybody can't train the same. A person who's three, four hundred pounds is not gonna train like a professional athlete. So you need to know and have in your arsenal um, different workouts, but understand why you're doing each one for each and then explain to them, hey, this is why we're doing this because this is gonna make your squat go up again, okay, or we're doing this because it's gonna make you more explosive. You gotta be willing to explain shit so they understand it as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, I for me, I went to college. Um, I enjoyed it. Uh, it definitely helped me a lot. It put me above a lot of people. I still had to go get two certifications. I still want a couple more. You know, again, that's just me being a very, uh, just being a student of life. I like to learn shit, but again, you know, I kind of dabble in everything, but I like to be good at everything I do. So again, I just sit, sit down, study, learn, regardless if it's in a classroom or not. You know, a lot of people don't even learn after college shit. People who just don't go to college just oh mm, they just they just basically start their business and get rich you know at the end of the day i think that's what it's all about whereas people don't want to work people don't want to study again at the end of the day it's all about money um so again how people get it it really doesn't quite matter as long as you got it again some people don't want to learn shit as long as you give them the bread that's all that really matters so again it's up to you if you want to keep learning in school or learning outside of school, but the, the option is yours. You just have to ask yourself, is it worth it and is it gonna help? Because again, I am in debt from college for sure. You know, I got 50 plus thousand dollars in debt because again, mom made too much, so I had to take, well, I didn't get no financial aid, so I gotta take loans out. But you know, my profession allows me to pay that down and then eventually pay it off, which is what I'm cool with. You know, some people be like, Damn, you know, I'm at a dead end job. I got all this debt. Well, shit, that was your choice. One, you didn't know no better. And two, you didn't do your research and you just let your parents kind of push you into it. You know, since a young age, I knew I was going to college. That's just the way the blueprint was set up. And I was cool with it. You know, it really didn't hurt me none. Could I have done without it? Mm, I don't know, you know, but we, we don't know now. But, you know, it was a good experience for me. So I just don't want people to be one way or the other. It's just, and depending on what you want to do with your life and if you feel like it's necessary for you or not. You know, so that's just that's just a decision you have to come to uh, by yourself and really weigh out the, the pros and cons of it where if it's for you or if it's not.